What's going on, guys? First of all, nice job making it this far. I know it's been kind of a long road trying to get all the super license stuff done, and this race is definitely a pain. So with that being said, if you guys don't care about what I have to say in terms of the guide, you could fast forward to the end of the video. And on these tutorials, I always do just a raw uh, replay without commentary so you can actually see my hot lap. So like I said, if you don't want to watch the guide, the step-by-step -step guide, you can just fast forward, watch the end of it, and then you could be on your way. But for those of you that want step-by-step -step instructions, we're going to start going over it now. All right, so this track is a little bit tricky here. Now, uh, the most obvious thing I could tell you is that you want to avoid the puddles. There's a bunch of puddles all over this track, and once you get your tires wet, you can't really recover and get a fast time on this. So really what they're trying to do on this is just put puddles actually on the driving line. So you're not going to be taking a typical driving line on this track. So normally at Spa, you want to go really wide. You want to utilize the apexes properly so you can get more time. You can't do that here. If you look to your left, you can see how wet that road is. Normally, we would be moving over to that side to get more time. But you're going to see everything's going to be different here. So as you see, turn one here, um, this, is a good, this is a good trick that I realized. So you're going to break right before the 100 meter marker. So I break about right here. You're going to see that's where I start. Now, pay attention to this trick here. I, I've noticed, I've seen some people, they like to accelerate in first gear. That's actually not a good idea. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want downshift to first gear and then upshift in second in mid-turn. Give it a little bit of throttle and then go full throttle. You're going to get a lot more time and you're not going to get all that wheel spin. So watch this. Here we go. Go down first to get tight. Second little acceleration go just like that that is the most optimal way to get time on that turn okay so now going into this what i'm going to do here my goal when you're taking this is very very tricky you're going to want to lift first and then break and go into third before you even make the right hander okay you, i did try doing this in fourth and it is possible you can do it just by practicing but if you want to get this kind of done and get it over with I find that third gear is just a little bit easier to control. Uh, you can kind of, you know, control the, the wheel a lot easier in third gear. So right here, going into it, lift. There it is, third gear. Easy, easy, easy. Floor it, lift again, floor it. So it's going to be just like that. Did you see what I said? You're going to floor it, lift, floor it. So if you stay full throttle going through that, these puddles will actually unsettle the car. So go into third, hug it kind of tight floor it you can go full throttle lift again and then go you can't stay full throttle the whole time you got to lift a little bit there so you can kind of glide it okay so now going on to i fast forward a little bit now on this side you'll notice you see i'm on the right a little bit look on the left right there do you see all those puddles you cannot be on the left side going down this straight you're going to notice on the replay at the end when i'm going down this straight i'm moving over to the middle of the track so you kind of want to be in the middle and then as the puddles kind of decrease here do you see that you see how it like kind of goes away and it gets really really small you want to move over as far left as you can to where your left tire does not hit those puddles and you're going to break slightly after the 150 meter board so watch this there's 150. Stay in fourth. Do not shift into fifth gear. Stay in the fourth. You're going to get a better break doing this. You will not unsettle the car. Going into this turn, you want to hold third gear as long as you can. Hold third gear, then downshift into second, like last minute. That will cause the car to rotate in so you can get a little bit better of a cut. So watch. Break. 150. Hold third. Hold third. Then there's second. Nice, easy, easy, easy. This is all smooth. So all these turns, there's no reason to brake. So right there, you can actually slide the car around. So when you brake and you're in third gear and you go into second, slide it around, then make your left, slide around, just be easy and stay more of the middle of the track. So you can see if I'm too far left there or too far right, the car's gonna unsettle. So stick, stick in the middle right here. Once again, I am using a little bit of brake here. You don't have to do this. Uh, if you were trying to go as fast as you could, I know that I can actually make this turn without braking. It just depends on how wide you are and when you lift. So you don't have to brake here. You can just lift and kind of glide the car in there. So there it is. Easy, easy, easy. Half throttle, full throttle. So the idea is here, the, the where you find time on this track, is giving it a little bit of throttle all the time. Don't find yourself not giving the car gas. Don't don't be one of those, you know, I'm going to go all in or, you know, whatever. You you have to be about 5%, 10%, and then go full throttle in order to get time. So you want to go as fast as you can here. 
break right after 100 meters. You saw the sign right there. There's a 100 meter marker. You want to break right after that. Hold third gear. Okay, same process. Hold third gear. Downshift into second. And you want to hug this turn on the right side as much as possible. Now watch this. I'm going to stay right. I'm trying to get right because it gets sharper. A little bit of gas, a little bit of gas, and then full throttle. The key is there is to stay as far right as you can. When the car starts understeering wide, just lift a little bit more, but keep on the throttle. You need to give it gas there because there's so much time that you can make by staying right and giving it a little bit of gas. That's where you're going to pick up a lot of time. Now, what you want to do is you want to break a little bit earlier than I did, okay? And you want to be a little bit tighter to that curve, okay? So watch how I did this. You see how far away I am? That's not good. You want to be a little bit closer to that. Don't touch the curb, but you want to be a little, a little bit closer to get more time and then floor it right there. I would, I would have made up about a 10th or so if I was a little bit closer to that line. So when you're going down this straight, do not stay to the left. You can see the road is wet. If you do that, it will unsell the car and you won't be able to do the lap. So stay right here in the middle. This braking point is going to be right. You see where the uh, the 50 meter marker is? You can actually brake right at 50 if you want to. I brake earlier because I don't want to take the risk of unsettling the car and it, and it going too wide. This is a very tricky part of the track. So I brake right before the 50 meter. And then when you brake, you're going to want to give it just like maybe 20% throttle, like just a little bit and modulate it because as you're modulating the gas here, you're judging how much understeer and how much room you have to go faster in this sector. This is really, really important, okay? Do not just lift. Don't just go through this turn and not hit the gas. If you do that, you're going to lose so much. I swear, you're, you can make up five tenths on this, on this turn right here. So look right here. You're going to brake a little bit of gas right there. You see that? I'm using that to guide the car. Easy, easy. Then floor it as soon as you can, okay? Just like that. Don't, like I said, don't lift the whole way through. Just make sure you're giving a little bit of gas. And, and believe it or not, giving the car throttle, giving it gas helps you not spin out, as weird as that sounds. So if you're not giving the car gas around these turns, you're, you're going to lose it. It's just going gonna, gonna to get sideways on you. So the, the key of being quick is actually just using a little bit of throttle control to keep this car, you know, in a straight line. So right here, my, my braking marker is slightly after 100. Um, if you look, you kind of see like that shadow that's right there. You see the hundred, you see the two lines like on the left. It's like right, right there. You see on the left side, uh, the, I don't know what that is. It's like these two blue lines. That's actually my braking point. I, I find that to be perfect. So break about right there. You're going to see, I'm going to slam the brake. Now, when you come into this turn, you're going to hold third as long as you can. That's why I always like to do that. Hold third for a long time. It's going to keep the car stable. And then once the cut begins, you're going to downshift in a second. So this way the car slows down and you're going to naturally move more to the right. You're going to want to stay to the right as much as you can because the following left turn, it's going to give you a lot more room to get a good exit, right? So right here, there's second gear. Try to get tight. Try to get tight. There is lift. No reason to break. No reason to break. And then accelerate as quick as you can. Now, this point of the track right here, um, I just break about right here you can see where it starts there's actually that little see if you look on the right side right there the metal railing uh right when that metal railing ends that's my breaking point so right around this point is the break uh, it's not really a huge deal if you break a little bit later or a little bit earlier here the the important part of this turn when you break right you want to stay and downshift in a second and when you downshift in a second you have to get a fast exit here so i don't care how you do this when you brake, you just want to make sure you have a lot of momentum going into this, this part of the track. The most time on this track is going to be this final turn that we're doing. These turns are so important. I'm talking maybe a full second, maybe 1.5 seconds. You can make up so much time here. So right here, stay right here this side. Shift into third. Now, as soon as you shift into third, you're going to shift into third, lift. Go into third, make the right-hander, and lift. You have to lift. Don't brake, though. Don't break, just go into third, lift, turn, and then modulate the throttle. You're going to feel it in the wheel. You're going to feel that the car is going to finally get under control. Once you feel that it's not going to understeer too wide, that's when you're going to go full throttle. Look, see, I'm like modulating. Look, I'm testing it. Those little, those little pops that I'm doing right there on the gas, I'm trying to figure out when the car is going to grip. 
So you can go around this turn and kind of hit it a little bit and just be like, okay, wait, I got about this much. I got, okay, boom, go. That's what I'm doing. There it is. Then I felt it. And now we're going to go. Now this is, this is scary here. So you're going to keep going full throttle. Use this sign as your marker to lift. Okay, so once you see me get on this, once you see me get to this sign, I'm gonna lift the throttle. I'm not gonna break yet, I'm gonna lift. So watch, lift, and then there's a slight break. So very, very important, lift, guide it, stay more to this left side, and you wanna slow the car down just slightly because if you don't, if you don't slow the car down a little bit here, it'll go too wide, and you're gonna, you're gonna hit the, the wet, and you're gonna spin all over the place. So you have to lift right at the sign, and then break a little bit to slow it down, right? We're gonna glide here. Look, see, it's going crazy. Avoid the puddle. That's why I went wide, all right? Stay in fourth. No reason to go in third gear here. You do not wanna end sell the car. There is so much wet on this part of the track. If you go into third, you try to accelerate too much, you're gonna mess up. Slower is faster when it comes to this turn right here. Stay into fourth. Like lift again there. Very, very important. Okay, so I almost lost it here. Very important that when you go wide right there and you come back in, you lift. Because if you're accelerating when you're trying to make that left-hander right there, the car will just go wide. I actually started sliding out here, but you see I kind of recovered it, right? So you want to lift going into that. You don't have to brake and then go full throttle. Now right here, my braking point, it's kind of the same. Uh, right under the sign, you're going to see there's a line right here. You see that line right there? So right after that line, you're going to break. You're going to hard break right here. Very typical hard break. Go into first, okay? So the reason, this is also tricky. You're, you'll make up another few tenths on this. Go into first, glide this easy right here. And then when you make this turn, right there, you heard it, upshift to second. I know that sounds weird. Some of you are like, what are you talking about? That's not going to be fat. It is, okay? Trust me. So go into first, upshift to second. Give it like half throttle and you're going to get a really smooth and a fast, fast acceleration going into this final turn. Watch this. Second, easy, easy, easy floor it. Look at that. No wheel spin. No wheel spin at all. And perfect. 222.1. So there is plenty of time on this track, guys. There's no doubt in my mind. I know you can do it. This isn't as hard as it seems. You just have to be patient. You can't be crazy on the throttle. Like if you're going slow, if you feel like you're going slow, you're probably going fast. So keep that in mind. That's it for me, guys. If you like this video, please like it. Um, it helps with the channel to actually just, it helps me also know what you want to see. So now we're going to go to the replay. I hope you got something out of this and I'll see you next time. See you later, guys.